guys and welcome back so today is going to be like in the title the how to kind of lift and awaken your eyes just some simple makeup tricks that I like to use on an everyday basis or when I'm going out if I'm feeling tired or I just want to look a bit more lively I use these kind of tricks um, especially around the eye area where we can tend to look quite you know dark and discolored and tired and everything like that it's going to help us lift the eyes and make us look more awake so it's kind of like a how to on that I guess so I've already done my base and everything like that, concealed and all that jazz. What I do like to do to really like awaken the eyes is apply a little bit of eyeshadow, just kind of lift them. What I first like to do is grab like a brown shade, a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. So you can use your bronzer if you like. I'm going in with the Made For Each Other eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And this is just a 221 brush from Zoeva. I like to just lightly apply some of that brown shade in the outer portion of my crease what I tend not to do is bring it down too low that's when you can start to have a droopy shaped eye you want to try and focus it in this part of the crease just up here May you can bring it on the outer corner of your eye I like to do that a little bit and I try and just kind of slowly use circular motions buffing it out towards the tail of my brow just to give a subtle shadow there and a little bit of lift. See how there's like literally no dimension in this eye. It's just flat and like drooped shaped. I just like to apply a tiny, tiny bit of eyeshadow to the outer portion of my crease and outer corner. And it's very, very subtle. These tricks are all very subtle things. Nothing really stand out -y or cray cray. And I'm holding the bottom of my brush so that I use a very light application of this eyeshadow. I don't want to apply too much because then you lose that subtle effect. It just becomes too dark and grungy. Just on this kind of upward angle like that. And I will not bring any in towards the inner corner of my eye because that is going to close off the eye. And you will lose that lift. My next favourite thing to do to lift the eye up and give it a bit more of a waking look is apply an inner corner and brow bone highlight. So I'm going to take Beam on a little pencil brush from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to go and just apply this to the highest point of the brow bone. It's such a blinding highlight, it's so stunning. And I'm using little feathering motions. Again, don't want to apply too much. Just hitting that high point there. And it's going to give a subtle lift to the eyes and the face as well. Because the brows really shape them. And hitting that arch just really gives that brow a more of an arch, like a lift and a bit more of an arch there. And with that same highlight, I'm going to hit my inner corners. And this just really gives light to that area, so it, wait, it opens it up a lot more, makes you look more awake. And I'll also just slightly bring it underneath the inner, like, tear duct area. I like to give a bit more definition to my lash line and give a bit of like a, like a smoky wing effect to my eyes, like I said, to give that lift. So I like to go in with a brown eye curl. You can use a black, I just find it's a little bit more harsh. Especially for like an everyday wear, I think brown is just a lot more wearable. Um, so I'm taking my full spectrum eyeliner pencil from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. And I'm just lining this along the outer portion of my eye. Very closely to the lash line. And the trick of this, guys, is to focus it on the outer third of your eye. So I won't bring it past this point here. And I'm just going to create a little tiny little flick. I'm keeping it nice and tight against my lash line because if you make it too thick then it's going to cover up a lot of that lid space and close off the eyes. And on a gloss pencil brush I'm going to take the shade Made You Blush from the Aspen Ovard Tarte Collaboration Palette. I think it's a nice pinky moby tone, very flattering for a daytime look. And these liners are so creamy, like the Makeup Geek ones, so they're just so easy to like buff out. And I don't want this wing to be too extended, it is a subtle effect, so I'm just kind of letting that smokiness from the eyeshadow carry out and become my wing, like blow it out a little bit. 
And again, I'm keeping it on the angle towards the tail of my brow. And there we have it, that's just like the smoky liner look, just to give a bit of like a subtle lift to the eyes. So next I'm going to curl my lashes. You can just apply mascara, but I do feel like curling them just opens up the eyes so much. And the mascara I'm taking today is the um, Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, the Colossal one. Anything like volumizing will really really help as well as like lengthening um so that will just really enhance your lashes so this is what they look like with natural lashes Ugh, i just love i love a good coat of mascara but like i said i will go in with falsies so you guys get the full effect of what it looks like you know without lashes and then with lashes these ones are the temptress wispies from house of lashes they make such a difference they just open up the eyes. The lash band's really thin, so they don't look too obvious on the eyes. It's just a little bit of enhancement, you know. It's good. It's good. And this is what the eyes look like with lashes applied to them. Like, oh, don't you just find, like, the eyes just look so much more, like, open and awake. Like, oof. Mm, honey. Mm. Okay. So, now for my all-time favourite thing to make your eyes look a lot more awake is a nude liner like literally this will be your best friend and this one is from models prefer and I'm supplying this to my water lines so the only thing is when applying a nude liner to your water lines is that you can kind of start to lose a little bit of the definition on the bottom bottom lash line so what I like to do is just go in with a tiny tiny amount of that transition color that we used in the crease area at the very beginning just to give a very very subtle bit of definition back and just taking some of made for each other on like a precise shader from Zoeva and just going to wiggle that very closely against the outer third of my lash line not bringing it in any further and that's it for the eyeshadows and everything I just go in and apply a tiny tiny amount of mascara to my bottom lashes nothing too much because if you do do them too spidery I find in my opinion they look a bit like closed off so guys this actually completes today's how to create a lifted more awakened eye with just my subtle your simple like makeup tips and tricks I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got a few you know tips from it like you found it quite helpful please let me know down in the comment section what you thought any requests that you have in the future like any videos that you'd like me to do for you guys I'd love to have a bit of inspiration for my future upcoming videos otherwise have an amazing day guys I love you all so much make sure you to Give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my YouTube channel and hit that little notification bell before you leave as well so you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials in the upcoming future. <laughs> Otherwise guys, have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.